What's up you guys, it's Steve here and this is pretty crazy. I've got an update for you. This is your breaking news stimulus check update and stimulus package update. Now in addition to everything that we have going on right now with 41 year high inflation, record high food and gas prices, supply chain issues and the pandemic, we now receive word today from President Joe Biden that there's another thing that we need to be very concerned about. Everybody needs to be concerned about. Take a look at the headlines coming out you guys. Biden says that everybody should be concerned about monkeypox outbreak. That is right. Right. Take a look at this. Biden says that monkeypox cases, something to be concerned about. And Biden says that everybody should be very concerned about monkeypox. Now, what even is monkeypox and what are the details of this? Do we have another pandemic, another concern on our hands? Well, I've got the video footage for you. I'm going to be sharing with you all the details of this outbreak we're hearing that is going around the world in different countries. And take a look today. President Joe Biden on Sunday said that everybody should be concerned about the recent cases of monkeypox detected in the United States and in Europe. And again, I've got the video footage to share with you so you know what's going on with monkeypox. But first, let's take a look at what President Joe Biden actually had to say today. Mr. President, quick question. What have your health advisors told you your level of concern should be about monkeypox and the cases that are in the United States and around the world? Well, they haven't told me the level of exposure yet, but it is something that everybody should be concerned about. We're working on it hard to figure out what we do and what uh, vaccine, if any, may be available for it. But it is a concern in the sense that if it were to spread, so there you have it. And again, I'm going to be sharing with you the latest update on everything involved with monkeypox and the new spread that we're hearing is going around the world. Now, this is happening in addition to a new wave that's ramping up of the pandemic. And they're going to be discussing this as well as take a look at the charts, you guys, here in the United States. The seven day moving average is at now 110,000 cases per day with just yesterday, 37,000. But we always have lower recordings on the weekend. But you can see that there is a steady incline and we're hearing that this new Omicron stealth variant where you can't detect it for the first couple days but you're actually infected with this new transmissible variant the most transmissible one we have seen so far they're saying that the cases are ramping up and we could see a major spike going into flu season and we might see another overrun situation of hospitals and there might be more need for additional provisions now we will see i will keep you up to date and as you know here on the channel i've been letting you know about stimulus checks stimulus packages negotiations taking place there have been calls for fourth federal level checks and there are state city and county checks going out as well now as more develops with that and we're hearing it's going to be ramping up as we get closer to those midterm elections I will be sure to keep you up to date here on the channel. But you guys, let's go ahead and dive right in. I want to get you the latest on the breaking news of this new outbreak of monkeypox around the world. What is it? Should we be concerned? And what to keep an eye out for? So let's go ahead and dive right in. But before we do, also wanted to mention, keep an eye out on my second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. If you're interested, I will pin a comment down below. Click the link, go subscribe, turn on notifications. Just providing information for you and your family if you're looking to better your financial situation. Also, if you appreciate the updates here on this channel, don't forget to take a quick second to smash that like button for me. Helps me out a ton. Thank you so much. Also, share this out if you think it could help out other people. If this is your first time here and you'd like to stay up to date, totally free, all you got to do is smash that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, come join the Ram fam totally free. I'll let you know everything going on. And if you got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. But with that being said, you guys, let's dive into this video footage to get you caught up on this new outbreak of monkeypox. What the heck is monkeypox and do we actually need to worry about this? Well, look, I think now that there's been community spread, it may be hard to fully snuff this out. I don't think it's going to become a major epidemic because this is a virus that's difficult to spread. You need sustained close contact or contact with the open sores. But there's so many cases now that are disconnected. This is spreading in the community, and there may be a lot more infection in what we're picking up. It has a long incubation period, upwards of 21 days. So there may be a lot of people currently incubating the virus. There's probably a lot of people who went undiagnosed or misdiagnosed because doctors aren't looking for it. Yeah. And given the fact that we've found so many disconnected cases, cases, it does suggest that the spread right now is pretty wide. I, I, that, that, that concerns me. I mean, this, what is this thing? What happens if you get it? Well, look, it could be dangerous. Um, you know, the case fatality rate for the particular strain that seems to be spreading is anywhere from 1% to 4%. It's particularly dangerous in, in immune-compromised individuals, people who are vulnerable. Um, it's also, you know, sort of a disabling virus. It can last two to four months. Um, you know, you get, you get 
fever, lymphadenopathy, and the sort of prodrome phase, the lead-up phase, um, then you develop these vesicles that can last anywhere from two to four weeks. So, uh, it, you know, it's a, it's a significant virus. I don't think it's going to be widespread in terms of an epidemic that we've seen, you know, in the order of COVID for sure. But we could get low-level spread that just becomes hard to snuff out. There are anywhere from five to 10,000 cases a year in the DRC. So there are countries where this is endemic. Um, and it's not infrequent. And now that it's spreading in the community here in Western Europe and parts of the United States, it appears to be, have gotten into this country. Again, it could be hard to fully snuff out. We're not going to mass vaccinate for it. They're going to try to ring vaccinate using the vaccinia virus vaccine. Um, that's not a vaccine a lot of people are going to want to take. So it could be hard to deploy public health measures to try to get a handle on this. That's the concern, not a widespread epidemic here at this point, but this just low level persistent spread, cases popping up here and there, outbreaks um, that could be you know, a risk to individuals and certainly a headline risk. Hey, Scott, I just wanted to go back uh, to the issue of COVID peaking, at least in the Northeast right now. A number of big corporations in New York City um, planning or were planning to bring people back full time, oftentimes five days a week in the office. Uh, some of them scaling that back, some not. Apple on the other coast, of course, uh, reversing its plan a little bit. What are you advising CEOs in this moment over the next two or three weeks about how they should be approaching this for those dare I say, white collar workers who are in the office, uh, either with a mask on or not with a mask on, and also sort of how you see testing in this environment working or not working. Yeah, look, I would say, look, watch the numbers. I mean, if the if the proposition that this is going to be this, this isn't going to be a big wave of infection this summer is right. And we're going to see declines as we get into the warmer months. You should see week over week declines right now in New York. You're seeing that in Connecticut, New Jersey. So you're seeing it in the tri-state region. You want to see continued declines. I think if we we're two weeks from now and we've seen sustained declines in infections, that means the risk really has subsided. And I think people can go ahead with those kinds of plans. But I would watch the data uh, unfold. You know, that that's really going to be the key here. If you start, if you continue to see rises in cases in the tri-state region or it doesn't level off and you see pickup of infection elsewhere in the country, I think that second possibility that there is going to be a wave of infection this summer starts to become more realistic. Again, I don't see that unfolding. I think a lot of people are skeptical of that model when you talk to folks in and around CDC. But it is a model out there. and We need to take it seriously. So there you have it, you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. They're saying that this hopefully should not be as much of a concern as we're currently dealing with with this pandemic that we've been in for the last two years. However, they are saying that this is transmissible. We are seeing an outbreak, and they said the incubation period is significantly longer, so you might have it, not realize it, and doctors are also not looking for monkeypox, so they're not detecting it. So they think that this could be significantly spread around a lot more than we realize. And actually, we're hearing the same thing with the Omicron stealth subvariant going around right now as well that's wrapping up as there's a lot of take-home tests that you can receive, which means that a lot of the positive cases that are taking place aren't being recorded. So they're saying that right now, this new wave that's ramping up might actually be worse than we realize. Now, we will see. I will keep you up to date here on the channel. And also, I will keep you up to date on how Congress responds to all this, as a lot of people are asking. Is there going to be another stimulus package? Are there going to be more stimulus checks? And if so, how much are they going to be for? When are they going to be arriving? As a lot of people are saying, they feel like Congress has been saying things are on the way for quite some time. And they still have not hit yet, and it has been over a year since we've seen the last stimulus package from the American Rescue Plan. But you guys, midterm elections are right around the corner. We're hearing things will be ramping up, and I will keep you up to date here on the channel. And as always, thank you so much for joining me. If you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget to take a quick second, smash that like button for me. Helps out the channel a ton. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments. Share this out if you think it could help out other people. If this is your first time here and you'd like to stay up to date, totally free. All you got to do is hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. You can come join the Ram fam. I'll let you know everything going on. And if you got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3 and consider joining the second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. But with that being said, you guys, once again, thank you so much for joining me. Hope that you and the family have a blessed Sunday evening, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.